Hello and welcome to Superb Tech. In this part, we will complete the electronics assembly of our 3D printer. So let's get started. We are using an Arduino Mega microcontroller board along with RAMS 1.6. Remove the excess length from the pins of the display. Mount the Arduino on the bracket using M3 screws. We are using DRV825 drivers which enable 1x32 micro stepping. We will need 4 of these drivers. Attach the heatsink on the drivers and place them on the ramps board. Check the enable pin and make sure it is the same on the board. Attach the large heatsink for the heater MOSFETs. Now attach the ramps board on top of the Arduino. Attach the display on the display mount bracket using M3 screws. Attach the display cables to the ramps board. And place the cap on the rotary encoder. Now attach the end stops for the X, Y and Z axis using M3 screws. We are using this 12 volts 20 amps power supply. We will require an AC adapter cable and 14 gauge flexible wires of 60 cm length each. Mount the power supply on the bracket and attach the power cable to the power supply. Now attach the wires to the positive and negative connectors. And mount the power supply to the bracket. Then attach the bracket to the left side of our printer using M5 screws. Now with all the electronic parts attached, we simply have to plug in the wires to the motors, end stops and the heated bed.
increase the length of the fan wires I have used this nylon braided ribbon to organize all the wires from the extruder, from the x-axis and the heated bed. Simply push the wire in the ribbon from one side and pull from the other side. Use zip ties on the ends of the ribbon otherwise the braiding may open. Do the same for the x-axis and the heated bed wires. Now tilt the printer sideways and bring the power cable towards the board. I am using these small 3D printed clips to keep the wire inside the profile. Once all the wires are brought to the board, cut them in appropriate lengths and crimp the headers. You can simply shorten them and reattach the headers if you do not have the tools for crimping. I have done all the wiring using this diagram and it is quite easy to follow. I have also added the links in the description below. Place the jumpers below the stepper drivers to enable micro stepping. Once the wiring is done, organize the wires using cable ties. And we are done with assembling our 3D printer. Coming up next is the firmware setup, calibration and final run of our printer. Thanks for watching.